transatlantic context in the United Nations, in the European Union and NATO. And that's the background and the frame of the new security strategy that is now the German government working on. For the first time, we try to define a national security strategy for Germany. It will be presented in the beginning of the next year. Next point is about climate sovereignty. The expansion of renewable energies and energy sovereignty are indeed a matter of national security and you will now find it in the German regulation and laws. The 24th of February had made it obvious. A country that has to import 70% of its primary energy use is not really independent. We have no real sovereignty. Germany, as a business location, as well as Europe's prosperity overall, have been granted for decades by cheap oil and gas, and also cheap coal, mostly from Russia. In return, greenhouse gases are stored in the atmosphere. Germany and the European Union is addicted to fossil fuels. Almost a billion euros we have transferred every day from Europe to Putin. We will, and we will, we are doing it to change this. We have stopped the import of coal. We are working on the ending the import of oil at the end of the year. And we do this also with gas the perspective to up to 24. Sometimes I smile on this, because eight years ago we did a study how, as Green Group in Parliament, how can we substitute the amount of Russian gas. We found a way that in a period up to 2030 with a better isolation of 3% annually of every house using heating pumps and other, we could do this. At this time, I will call a utopia then. What we are now doing is exactly this to organize it, not in eight or in 10 years, but in two years. And this has consequences. If we cut off the Russian pipelines to Europe, what are we doing? We are taking a fifth of the global gas production out of the market. This has consequences not only for us. We are now living in this situation of cold turkey to stay in the picture of addicted to fossil fuels. It is also a harm to the rest of the world when Europe, the rich Europe, is now going on to buy every bar, uh, every cubic meter of gas that is available on the global markets. So this is a disadvantage for poorer countries. This is why we have to bring down our gas consumption and to reduce it significantly. For this, we need a rapid expansion of renewable energies and need massive investment in that region. We, as Germany, are investing 200 billion in our energy sovereignty via the energy and climate fund. And central to speeding up our energy transition is the definition, what I quoted before, that renewable energies are now an overriding public interest. This also means that we are bringing back, and that means relocate forms of industry to Germany. Fifty years ago, we had a flourishing uh, uh, PV industry here. We have to bring it back to Germany. Model production for the solar industry has been pushed to China and Qatar by the government we were not a member of. But this is an example of strategically important branch of production that we cannot do without. We have to relocate at this. And with the perspective no longer to import 70% of our primary energy use 
with a consequent strategy of decarbonisation, we should be able, we should be able to produce 70% of our primary energy demand from electricity to green ammoniac, uh, green hydrogen here in Germany and only 30% of import. Now let's talk about the changing of the globalization. Global